Hello, and welcome to the Metro MLS webinar reviewing the multiple update screen in Flex MLS. In this short webinar, we'll show you what the multiple update screen is and what it does and how you can use it. So let's begin. So to access multiple update, you click on menu, and then underneath the contact section, click on multiple update and it brings you to the multiple contact update screen. So the purpose of multiple uh, update is where you can manually update contacts. So these will be contacts that you don't have set up on the subscription email and you prefer to go in and check them manually and run their updates for whatever reason you'd like. So here you see my contact Barclays, okay? And then I can, you can see the name, the email address, the searches that I have attached to that contact. Um, the last time that the search was run, was it run automatically or manually, and then the date and time, and any new matches. So to run this, I'll select the contact, and you can select multiple contacts. I think you can select up to 12. So once you select the contacts, you've got an option to show the photos if you want, um, and then it'll open up in a new window, and then now I'm going to click on select, run select contacts. So when I do that, it opens up this new tab. So here it's showing me my customer's name and then the search that it's running and the parameters of that search and the new matches from. So the last time that that ran this search was on February 1st at 12.07 p.m. to today's date. So these are our matches, 352. So this is the list of matches. So as I get a little bit further down on the screen, the next section will be the next search that I've got attached to that customer. So here it is um, for my TOSA and then uh, the parameters for that search tells me how many matches that are there and here they are and then my next search so it goes on and so on and so forth. So all the searches that are attached to that customer it will run them and give them to you in each section here with the number. So you can cherry pick the listings if you like or you can select them all. So once I hit select here that will select all 352 that are here. You have to do that for each search. So maybe you only wanted to select a few. Maybe you wanted to skip past the active with offers and you only wanted to select the active ones. So it probably would have been easier for me to select all of them and then take out the active with offers or ba based on the market that it is now just kind of look and see which one that it would be the easiest for you. Sometimes it's a horse apiece. So, all right, so I'm just going to select those two searches. So after I've done that at the bottom of the sections, you'll see C selected listings on search results. When I hit that button, Oh, I got a message here. Please select no more than 100 listings. Currently, there are 370 listings selected. So, apparently, there is a limit here. Um, that first search up here at the top that I had won't let me make it happen. So, you can count them off if you want to. I'm just going to deselect those, and I'm just going to come back down here to my TOSA, single family search. There we go. All right, so I'll run, I'll see the selected. So we know 100 is our maximum. So when I click on see selected listings on search result, this is kind of the confusing part. You kind of expect it to pop up in front of you and you're sitting like, okay, what happened? So you see how it opened up the matches in a new tab, but my other tab is still here. Click on that and that will show you the listing. So remember that. So when you click see selected listings on search results and you don't get any action here, go back to the previous tab that's to the left of this one and then they'll see your matches here. All right. So from this point you can decide to email them or print them or whatever it is that you want to do with them. Go ahead and do that. All right. So I'm going to close this little tab here. So when I come back over to multiple update and I hit to run it again, it's running it from the last time that I ran it, which was just a couple seconds ago. So be very careful that 
if you want to retain those matched listings, you keep that tab open where I originally ran it, where it showed all the listings. You can always toggle back and forth between those and make your changes. So after you view some from one search, you can just view some from another search. But again, it timestamps it and we're back at zero. So there won't be anything to see unless, you know, we wait a little bit, maybe at the end of the day, maybe tomorrow, where we can get some matches. But that's what multiple update is, is that it picks up from the last time that you ran it so you don't have any gap. This will conclude our webinar on multiple update. It